hello this hello students this video is going to explain about ccs demo uh, in the desktop click setup ccs v3.3 so uh, in the setup section go to family in that family select 67xx under the platform we are going to uh, study about the simulator so click simulator in that uh, platform go to c67xx cpu cycle accurate simulator in little mode double click that one click ok and save and quit now then go for yes now ccs will open it is the window for ccs okay to start ccs here i'm going to explain convolution in ccs uh, first go to project new and in uh, we have to assign a project name before that select uh, the location where you have to store that project so in the desktop I'm um, make new folder that I'm going to assign folder name as DSP uh, sample. Okay. In in that folder, we're going to save your project name. Test project. Uh, project test two. Then finish. Now the test two project is open under your project. Then expand that test two project. Okay. Now go to file and new. Select the source file. Source file will open. In that file only we have to type your uh, that is convolution program in C mode. Previously, I typed this program, so I just am going to copy this program. Let's check that program. In that program, in, we know in convolution, we need two sequences, x of n and h of n. An output will be act as a y of n. Here, the x value define x of n. And H value define H of n. It is output value defines Y of n. That the two input are stored in the memory. Uh, memory of address this thing. And output is stored in the memory 0x8001201 location. After typing the C code in this uh, uh, source file. We have to store your source file. Then go to file. Save the file as uh, to we have to store this file in that uh, folder where you uh, save your pro test that is a project. Under the test two, we can able to assign the name mm, that is convolution. No, so uh, convolution. We have to save this file in .c format. Convolution.c. Now save the file. After saving the file, we have to check the file. Yeah, first we have to save the file. Yeah, go to project and we have to compile. Yes. After uh, saving your source file. Uh, go to under the test tube project go to source file right click the source file now add file to project now we have to add 
uh, that is uh, you have to add the convolution.c file in your project so you have to double click the file now the convolution file is uh, added with your test project now go to project and uh, save your project then go to project and compile your file compilation is check for any error that to syntax error in your c code uh, after compiling compilation it will display compile complete with a zero error and zero warning after compiling your file again go to project and, and we have to build your file before build your project we have to go to build option in that build option in target version we have to select c671x after that go to linker section in that linker section in output mode select absolute executable after that we have to fix the heap size and stack size the, here we have to fix the heap size as 400 and stack size as 400 then go to library and you have to include library that is rts6700.lib dot lib rts6700.lib dot lib then say ok after finishing the build option go to project and build your project after finishing it will show that build complete with the zero error and one warning then we have to assign data uh, to evaluate your project so to assign a data go to memory and to assign the input x of n we have to enter the address that 0 x 8 Double zero, triple zero, one, triple zero, and enter. Now it will be display in this uh, window. So here we have to select. Uh, depend upon the data format. I am considering the given data is thirty-two bit signed integer. Now we have to assign a data for your project. So I'm going to assign one, two, one, two. Okay. After. Uh, assign the data in the memory that is 1212 the in the day it will have to display in black color if it is in red color the data is not stored in that memory then x of n is finished then we have to type h of n value that is h var that address is 8001100 so here we have to change 0 x 8 triple zero double one double zero enter uh, for example i am assigning that h of n value is one 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 and one Okay, I, I assigned the uh, h of n value here. After assigning the input to your program or project, then go to file and you have to load program. In that project, the debug file will be created. Open the debug and open test2.out file. Now, the lo we loaded the program, then uh, we assign the input then we have to go for debugging action so go to debug 
and click run. After few seconds, again debug, go to debug, halt your program. Now we executed the program. Then when when we have to verify the result, the output that is y of output value y of n output value is in the address eight triple zero one two double zero. Now we go to that address one two double zero. Now we can able to get the result of your linear convolution. One three four six five three two. It is the uh, procedure for doing uh, convolution or any sort of DSP program in simulator mode. Suppose if we want to change your data, I want to give the negative integer means go to thirty two bit signed integer. Now we have we can able to assign negative data for your uh, program. For example, I am going to change as h of n value to one, minus one, and minus one, minus one, and minus one. Confirm the data are stored here. Yes. Now we change the x of n value to Uh, signed integer. Again, uh, to execute this uh, program for this changed input, go to file. Again, load your program. Okay. After loading, we have to uh, debug your program. Go to debug and run your program. Then halt. Now we can able to get the result. Now we can able to get the Uh, result for negative uh, samples. Okay, it is the procedure for doing uh, CCS in simulation mode. Thank you for your uh, patient uh, listening of this video. Thank you very much. All the best.